who was Eleanor of Provence, queen consort of Henry III. Not much is remembered of Henry's queen and her life before, during and after their marriage. This documentary aims to go behind the scenes of Eleanor's life to find out who was the queen to Henry III. Eleanor of Provence was born in the southern French city of aix en provence No records exist of exactly when she was born, but it is generally believed to be around 1223. She was born into a Provençal noble family. Her father was Ramon Berenguer IV, Count of Provence, and her mother Beatrice of Savoy. Eleanor was one of four daughters born to Ramon Berenguer and Beatrice of Savoy, who prior to her and her elder sister's birth had two stillborn sons. All of Ramon's and Beatrice's daughters would go on to marry kings in Europe raising the prominence of the family. Eleanor's older sister, Margaret, would marry the King of France. Whilst both her younger sisters, Sanchia and Beatrice, would marry the King of Germany and King of Sicily respectively. Little is known of Eleanor's childhood except that she was well educated by her tutor, Romy de Villeneuve. Her education seemed to have included a strong desire to read and write as she greatly enjoyed writing poetry. Eleanor's mother came from a powerful dynasty in modern-day Switzerland and held a lot influence politically at the time. Eleanor's uncle, William of Savoy, would be influential in matching her eldest sister, Margaret in her marriage to Louis IX of France in 1234. Following this William would use his influence to find a match for Eleanor. Eleanor would make a good match, as her intelligence and beauty was widely reported throughout Europe. He would start to negotiate with Henry III of England that Eleanor would make him a good match in marriage. Henry III was desperate for money at the time after paying 30,000 marks for the marriage of his sister. Isabella of England to the Holy Roman Emperor, Frederick II. Henry initially demanded a dowry of 20,000 marks for the marriage. But Eleanor's father shrewdly negotiated out of paying the dowry with the promise of paying 10,000 marks to his daughter when he passed away. On Tuesday 22nd June 1235, Eleanor was formally betrothed to Henry III of England and at the age of 12 would travel to England for her wedding into the English royal family. In modern times a marriage at the age of 12 would shock us but in medieval times they were a common occurrence. Canonical law also allowed sexual consummation of a marriage at 12 at this period of history. At the time of their marriage, Henry III would have been around 29 years old, 16 years her senior. Eleanor who had never met let alone have seen Henry III would meet him for the first time at their wedding on Monday the 14th of January 1236. They would be married by the Archbishop of Canterbury Edmund Rich, at Canterbury Cathedral. Eleanor would wear a golden dress with sleeves of ermine. The following day she and her new husband would travel to London. Here, she would be crowned Queen Consort to Henry, at her coronation at Westminster Abbey. Although her love for Henry would grow day by day, her presence would start to stir political friction in the running of the country. As a member of the powerful European family, the House of Savoy, Eleanor would bring a large number of her own courtiers, known as Savoyards, to her court. Gradually through their marriage, the Savoyard's influence over Henry III would grow, in particular her powerful uncle who arranged her marriage, William of Savoy. William would become very close to Henry, which in turn caused the barons, at the king's court to become very unhappy. In the second part of the documentary, we will look at how Eleanor's life would be at the English court, and her popularity with the English population how the country would descend into the Second Baron War, and also on her life after the death of her husband, Henry III, who was over 15 years her senior.